Okay, 2000 model, your model boat, Volvo Penta. Nice clean boat. Got some running problems. Customer has replaced a lot of parts and that's cool, so that eliminates a lot of things, but getting to the problem, this engine is cutting out uh, 3000 RPMs or so. Cadence, will you turn the water on please? We're gonna get this thing to fail. And uh, we've already done some checking on it, so we got an idea what's wrong, but I wanted to video it. This is for the customer's knowledge and anybody else that it may help. Okay, go ahead and start up, and we're going to talk, you know, all the systems are running good if there are no overheats, no oil pressure problems, nothing like that. We've already verified that. Okay. Now, this is a Ford fuel-injected engine. These things were kind of nightmares. When they ran great, they ran great. When they had problems, boy, nobody wanted to mess with them. So we had a fuel pressure gauge on it over here, and the fuel pressure was running about 32 to 35 PSI, uh, and kind of bouncing just a little bit while the engine was malfunctioning. And then we unplugged the fuel pressure regulator, and it went on up past 40, almost to 45, and stayed there. So even with the engine malfunctioning, so we're confident that the fuel system is doing what it can. The low pressure fuel pump that draws from the fuel cell is right there. The high pressure fuel pump is back on the back of the engine right there. And kind of a pain in the butt. That's a VST tank. There's a float and some other things in there that can be problematic. But we don't suspect that on this one. Go ahead and get the engine to malfunction. shut it off so you see it's cutting out whoom 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 it's kind of like a like a fuel issue right it kind of seems like it uh, or a spark issue so we've already done a spark test we hooked our, our inline spark tester up pretty inexpensive tool we hooked it up between the spark plug and one of the wires and we were not losing any spark even while the engine was malfunctioning this right here is called a noid light and it's for testing the fuel injectors for somebody that doesn't know it's basically just a kind of a high speed bright light then we disconnect one fuel injector and plug it in in its place and we can monitor the fuel injector uh, electronics to see if they're functioning so i'm going to pause this video for a second and hook this up so real quick the easiest injector to get to in my opinion uh, is going to be one of the front ones you know way down the side there or whatever but i kind of like this back one because i can get the plug on it so that one right there so i'm just going to wiggle that it's got a little catch on it looks like this has new fuel injectors too but if you just wiggle it a little bit, it'll typically come right off. And we're going to plug our Noid light right into that thing. Okay, so we've got our Noid light plugged in. He's turning the water on now. And Kenneth's going to start the engine. And you see we got a nice bright light. Now we're going to get the engine to fail. Okay, so we can go ahead and shut it off. So we can see, clearly see that we're losing injector fire on this engine whenever the engine is malfunctioning. Um, suspect, uh, you know, is going to be this control module. Now we have a RENDA scan tool, but this is a little bit older setup than what we're typically uh, checking these days. And we're checking with RENDA right now just to see if we can get the adapter to plug into this test circuit. So we can really just scan all its systems that it will allow us. And we can see, you know, hopefully it would show if it was a sensor problem or whatever. But, you know, uh, without doing that, the, the best educated guess at this point is this module right here. And we're going to look that up and just see what it costs, if it's inexpensive or whatever. We, we prefer to get the, the test tool lead for that if it's available. If it's not available, you're either going to end up at your friendly Volvo Penta dealer um, or you're going to take a chance and buy that component right there and see if that resolves it. Wiring harness looks untouched. You know, we don't know the history on this boat. I don't know that we've ever worked on this boat before. Um, don't know if somebody's had the engine out or, you know, the ground wires all look hooked up. Everything looks really, really super clean. I mean, it's a super clean boat. And, uh, you know, it looks like the customer's done everything he could to, to try to figure out the problem on his own. But 
Now we know it's losing injector fire. It's not fuel pressure. It's not spark. It's injector fire. So we're going to go from there and see what happens.